So when you want to edit curvy objects like this, you don't want to have to go and manually grab each one and slowly edit it yourself. You might want to use instead proportional editing, which is here or by pressing O, which allows you to select a vertice or a face or whatever. And when you move it up, it will update the other things as well with a fall off. So using the scroll wheel will change the size of the area where things are affected. You have other curve options. Instead of just regular smooth, you could go with a sphere, root, inverse square, sharp, linear, or constant, which all look the same as their little icons. So say I grab constant, everything will just go up in the same amount that is within the area. Or if I went with sharp, everything will go up with a nice point in the middle. The only one that's more complicated than just a curve is random, which will allow you to randomly move things. As you can see, the center is the one that goes the highest, while things out will go lower, but still randomly in the exact amount that they go higher or lower. I could also use proportional editing for things like scaling or rotating. Other options than just enable include projected 2D, where enable uses a sphere. So if I went and viewed it from the side, and moved it up. It goes as expected in a sphere radius. While projected 2D, you instead have a circle and everything behind that circle will be affected. So as you see, it brought this whole thing. But instead, if I went from this angle, and went from here. We also got connected, which if I had enabled on, and if I copy this guy, and I made a real big brush, with just enable on, it will affect my other unconnected object. But if I switch it to connected, it will only affect this guy. And you can see the eyes are the same. This was Mr. Chai Pie, and if you liked this video, please like, comment, and subscribe to help my channel grow. Thank you.